Hello and welcome back to The Broken Doll and tonight I come to you with The Miracle on 34th Street also known as Baby Beautiful by the Ideal Toy Company made in the middle of the 1940s and she has the plastic eyes as you can see here and um, she's a beautiful doll and, and she is not marked on the back of her neck because they marked her with a wrist tag that went around the wrist. Many dolls were like that, that weren't marked on the back of the neck. Did have an identification, but it came through the wrist tag, which were disposed of many, many moons ago when the doll was received. And But one way that you know this doll is the Miracle on 34th Street, um, plus made by the Ideal Toy Company, is because it has the squiggly curl pattern coming down its forehead. That's the giveaway. It also has like a stare. I don't like dolls that have stairs like this, but I have it because of historical uh, movie type history. And that's why I own her. I really don't care for that stare in the eyes. But she's a pretty doll, but nothing that I love, but I love the fact where she came from. If you watch the movie, near the middle end, um, you'll see Natalie Woods, who plays the little girl in The Miracle of 34th Street. She does sit with this doll in her arms. Now, this doll came in a variety of sizes. I also have a 17-inch, I think it is, or something like that, 18, 16, 17, I don't know, somewhere in there, 16 to 18 inches one, up in the attic that needs to be restored. Um, they go for a whop of money. I bought this back when they were still kind of high, but not that high. Not as high as today. Uh, there is a 27-inch one, which is, I think, the biggest she came in. This is a 24-inch one. I do not have the bigger one. Would love to have it, but I just don't. And I'm not willing to put that money out today for what they're asking for her. I don't think she's, she's got value as far as, um, movie wise maybe in history that way but I don't think she's worth all what they're they're saying she's worth but that's my opinion among many out there but it is going for a high amount of money these dolls are now but anyway she's a lovely doll she shows well and she is of course dressed in the yellow I was doing a yellow theme which I was going to show everybody you're kind of getting the the this end of, of some of my dolls in their yellow dresses but we're going to get her into a Christmas dress today. She wants to meet Santa. Since she is pretty much, I classify her as a Christmas doll um, because of her history and the time of the year that she came out and the part that she plays in a movie. Um, she's a Christmas doll to, in my eyes and I think to many as well. They, they, we will always refer to her to that movie. So anyways, let's get her changed and... Um, but she's a big girl. Like I said, she shows so well. She was wearing this gorgeous little bonnet on her. She just, oh, just adorable on her. But anyways, we have to take her out of this because she needs to meet Santa when Santa comes. When Santa Magic comes on December 24th, she needs to be ready at, at, at that time when he comes into the house to bring gifts of love and to share in the birth of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. And... There we go. So that's, she is a beautiful, beautiful doll. Yes, she sits in a buggy. Though she's not going to be showing her feet in the buggy, I am going to be taking her out. So she's going to wear a pair of shoes, this one is. So I do have a little dress here for her. But first we're going to put on her leotards. And I think I'm going to keep, oh, and I got this too, that's right. Okay, I've got these leotards here for her. And we're going to put those on. Take off her socks. She's a chunky doll. Very well made too. Now she could use, um, like she's not splitting anywhere like I've seen the, like the one I have upstairs. Again it's all about condition. Condition will tell you everything about a doll like where they've been kept over the years. It looks like this one was kept in a very good place. Um, I believe she's painted with oil paint. I'm saying that but then she does have some lips in her hand. You can see some peeling. Maybe it's acrylic. Hard to say right now because I, 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 I do it with, uh, you know how I take the paint off uh, to check. It's with um, acetone. I don't know why I always want to say aspartame. <laughs> it's, it just comes to my head first. I have to think about it when I'm about ready to say it is. Oh, here we go. All right. These are tight little tights. <laughs> Boy, these leotards are just... Maybe they won't fit her. Oh my goodness, no, they don't want to fit her. I thought these were for sure. Let's see, we're going to try. We're going to keep trying here. Oh my word. Well, I'll be jiggered. No, that's not going to fit her. These are for like newborns. Okay, I'll get her another pair of tights. 
um, when I go in the house, I will put another pair on her. So pretend I did put a pair on her because they're all in the house right now because I, I, I go through everything in my home and then bring it out here. And um, that's how I've been doing it. And I don't have everything here. Now, this might be a little big. It's a six months. But the type of dress I'm putting on needs something underneath it. So let's just... Uh, and I kind of like sometimes like it on a little bit on the big side because it doesn't hurt the limbs any when I'm putting on and I don't have to struggle with limbs. Mind you, she does have what we call flop arms. She is a, in the flop doll family. So there we go. This is a Christmas um onesie that she's get putting on with the red and green and the plaid and everything but what, like you've been seeing a lot of my dolls wearing plaid this year uh, probably for a long a few more years because that's going to become their clothing unless I see something a little nicer along the way I will pick it up throughout the year there we go that's cute on her <laughs> there we go give her eyes a bit of a shake and it's got the the bows on the side okay so I'll put these back on her for now so we don't lose them these fit her so well. I love these pantaloons on her because it hides the cloth legs and they just fit her very good. She's got quite the hiney. She's a thick built doll. You can have 24 inch doll but very slender. Then you can have chunky ones like this, you know, so it just all depends. Ooh, but she's got a split in her leg right there too, so this might be just acrylic paint. We'll find out when it comes time when I can get to her. Alright, so let's put this on her right now. Now, this has got flowers on it, but it is a velvet dress, all the same, a crushed velvet. It has that nice Christmassy type look all the same. Now, this might hide some of those bows, which can't be helped. But I love the fact that it does up in the back. It's, it might be a titch big for her, but I'm still going to put it on her. I think it shows well on her all the same. And um, I was looking for a hair piece for her. Now, I do have hats in the house. I took all my hats back in the house again. I can't believe I did that. I do a lot of things around. Well, they get in the way, too. Um, I, I, I hurt my thumb. I can't use my thumb as well right now because of the... It's a, I can't get, push the button through. Usually I use my thumb. Okay, I'm not going to do those last two buttons up. I'm squawking because of my thumb. But anyways, um, I'll do those up later. Um, oh, that looks nice on her. Oh, that's cute. Yeah, that, that fits her nice. So anyways, I did bring her in some little shoes she can put on when I get her leotards on her, but these will look nice. Again, they have to be buttoned. And, um, oh, those buttons. Oh, no, it's Velcro. Good. Yay. Whatever I did to this thumb of mine, I did it good. It was bleeding there when it happened. It's, it was just a, a part of a nail and then went into a hangnail. So they smart. <laughs> but anyways. There she is. We're not done with her yet. We've got some more other things that we want to do with her, too. Now, I did bring this out for her, which I thought was really very Christmas to help her get the Christmas look on. So we're going to put this on her head. Nice, great. Oops, maybe it goes this way. Let's try it this way. Okay, there we go. Oh, see, that's what happens with these dolls that have these uh, painted heads. The bows want to slip. There we go. Get just looking into the camera. There we go. But I think it should be the other way around for some reason. I just think, I don't know, I see this down here. Hmm. All right, let's try this. Let's tr just try it and see. Oh my goodness, it just wants to slip inside. This bow is kind of pathetic. Um, I don't know if I like it or not on her. Well, that just doesn't look too nice. We'll keep it like that for now. But I don't know. But anyway, she has her Santa Claus. He's right here to be beside her. There we go. There's Santa. And she also has her Miracle on 34th Street book. There we go. So she can read the story about her. I think it's an excellent little book to go with her. Let's take a closer look at her. Away from head to toe with her. There she is. 
And there's her Santa. And there's her book. We'll get some uh, tights on her, some leotards on her. And um, she'll, she'll just look just, just scrumptious. But that's the Miracle on 34th Street. This year, this is what she's wearing. I think she looks gorgeous. All that red on her and that white just looks nice on her. But anyways, I hope you like what you see here. And um, she's quite the doll. Um, I really enjoyed owning her just for the fact that she shows so well. And um, But anyways, thank you for dropping in. And uh, for anybody who's new, thank you for joining. And um, never know when I'm going to get my hands into here because I'm always looking into the next project and um, uh, always just doing something new. And... Um, it's it's always something exciting and I'm learning new things and doing new things and coming up with different ways how to do things and um, if one thing doesn't work I'll find another way or leave it until I can but anyways I hope you enjoyed this video hit the subscribe button if you haven't subscribed you're just walking by and you just happen to catch this here and you liked what you saw hit the subscribe button thumbs up please if you can give me a, a, a nice thumbs up if you if you like what you see here and um, more to come and to my my subscribers who have been supporting me all the way along thank you very much and um, we're getting closer to Christmas we just opened up our Christmas calendars today and um, my daughter and I were just excited about that <laughs> and I got one for my son and he was like yay and we're like, woo! <laughs> you know, so anything to make it coming close to Christmas, um, you know, more exciting. So anyways, thanks for joining me. And we'll be talking to you again really soon. Bye-bye.